couldn't. Wow. I matched the stairs perfectly. <laughs> oh, I am camouflaged. Good morning. It is Saturday today. So today we are heading to Ikea. There is a whole list of things that we need to pick up for the house. Um, there's no bathroom cabinets. So we're gonna need some bathroom cabinets to store. There's no towel rail in the ensuite. So we wanna get like a, I'm thinking a towel rail that hangs off the back of the door. There really isn't much space to put things. There's not many nooks in this place. So um, yeah, we're gonna go to Ikea. We're gonna see what we can get today. Try and get everything a little bit more sorted this evening. We also put a lot of stuff in the garage. Um, when we were moving in and then we looked into it and it says don't put wooden furniture into the garage So this evening we're gonna bring that into the house But we kind of have nowhere to put it because there's no downstairs storage area and upstairs the little storage cubby I don't think it would fit in and in that cubby there are little um, Pipes that do the heating and so I feel like they could get really hot and you don't want the wood next to something That's getting hot and then cold and hot and then cold because it's just gonna mess with it. So yeah so I also started laying um, some tarpauling in the garage and putting stuff on top of it, but I need to finish off doing that with Nick tonight because there's some heavier things that I can't lift and then cover it in some tarpauling because a storm is on the way and so there is a chance water will get in. So we're gonna try and cover all that up this evening and get this house a little bit more in place. Money. I'm very intrigued to see how big this is on the inside because from the outside, massive. Look at it huge this ikea looks massive so i'm really really excited to see what's inside and if they've got like way more what? showrooms and such all that is a car park so a lot of it's car park it's just the top two bits is it though i think so it's still massive this is the desk that i'm looking at for the second bedroom it's quite a bit bigger than i thought though it's called the linman but it it it's a really nice color and i like these little under bits but it just seems really really big I just think that's a little too big. What do you think? I quite like this little bucket chair, although a hundred pounds, maybe not. I'm busy working. It looks like really <laughs> framed. We have to get a table for our kitchen. So we're thinking about this one, but in white, which is over there. But this is the table. But if I do this, then, oh, that's actually a lot heavier than I thought, Nick. Can you lift it up for me? <laughs> so we can have a bigger dining table for if guests come over. It's got a nice old price tag of 150 which is not the cheapest table. We're looking at lamps for the living room. And you prefer that one? I think that one, I don't know, I like it more. <laughs> I think I like this one. Cause it's really, it's a lot thinner than this. This seems just big. This seems kind of giant. This seems nice and it will just go in the corner nicely. Yeah. We're gonna get this one because it looks a little bit classier than this one. And this one is just paper. Whereas this one's quite solid, it feels quite nice so I think we're gonna get this one which comes in a little box and then we've got to get six of these so Nicholas has just found this are you sure it's six pounds but that looks better but the six quid yeah no I think we should get the six quid one because we're not really too sure Nick likes a deal don't you <laughs> no we'll put this one back until we're hundred percent sure on it and we'll just get two of two of these lovely ones for now and we're definitely gonna have to be careful of that but we'll see what we can do we also now don't need these bulbs we need these bulbs how <laughs> but this one's new this is really pretty look at this i love this and photo and i don't have it anywhere i can't find it it's so frustrating oh it looks really nice on the camera i'm considering this for the corner of my filming room taking my uh, my plant for a day out <laughs> that was not the most successful ikea trip i've ever had Back here again. We, <laughs> we had a huge shopping list like i'm talking 15 to 20 items and i think we got maybe four things and i got myself a plant and a candle and a cushion cover i was really hoping to kind of go in there and tick a lot of things off we need this and this and this we would pick up one of those and those and it just didn't happen like that at all um so we're on our way home now nick is absolutely exhausted so i just want to get him home and it was like three days on the run of six hours of like lifting and moving heavy stuff and nick went straight from that to work every day so he hasn't really had a break i kind of took monday completely off i was like see you later i'm in bed <laughs> i'm not talking to anyone um but nick has been at work every 
day, so I just think we need to get you home, get you into bed. Well, get you onto the sofa, we're not getting you, you into bed. You want to get me into bed, is that what you're saying? Maybe. So these are our uh, six pound lights that Nicholas found at Ikea. I am cheap. <laughs> I think that's amazing. That's very, very good. We are in the car, we are ready to go, and by we I mean me. Um, this is my list of things that I need to pick up. Um, so I've got tabletop, photos and frames, hanging plants, headboard, lampshade, bedside table, kitchen runner, bathroom cabinet, kitchen table, hallway table, shoe rack, storage shelves, draft excluder, oven tray, duvet cover, double bin, clothes horse, anti-back and tin food. So, I've got a lot of stuff to look for. I do not think realistically even half of this stuff is gonna get ticked off today, but I'm gonna try my absolute best to tick off a ton of stuff. Also, the reason that we are having to buy new stuff is because of the change in the situation. For example, in the apartment, we had a breakfast bar, so we have breakfast stools. We no longer have a breakfast bar, so we need either a table and chairs or a high table that we can use our stools at either or. In the old place we had plenty of storage, in this place not so much, so we're going to try and get some shelves put in so that we can at least stack stuff. In the old place the bathroom cabinets were built in, they were already on the wall when we got there with mirrors, don't have this in this place so we're going to have to buy our own bathroom cabinets and so on and so forth. There's a lot of things that we had in the last place that we don't have now so we've got to go out and buy. Wow, it is sunny, it is cold and windy but it is so freaking sunny, I'm so happy. I did not come out for a cushion today but look at the color of it, it's coming home with me. What the heck, this is beautiful. Oops. <laughs> um, I ticked off oven tray, that was on the list, and I got some Pyrex oven trays, so I'm thinking they're gonna be good quality, I'm hoping it's Pyrex. Uh, and then I got this, which I have no need for whatsoever. I have enough cushions, I really do, but that is the most beautiful blue cushion, just, Oh, it just doesn't come across on camera how beautiful it is. There was no way at all I was saying no to that cushion. Um, didn't realise it was £20. Little bit overpriced for a cushion, but I got to the till before I realised I hadn't checked the price and she said, hey, that's 20 quid. And I was like, oh, that's a lot of money and now I'm too embarrassed to put it back. So yeah, I made a purchase got a cushion, wasn't on the list, I can tick off oven trays and I'm just going to drive over to Ikea. I realise it seems like Ikea I could walk to but that is actually the car park to Ikea. Ikea is around the back and if I am going to get furniture I'm going to come out with a trolley. I'd rather my car was there. So even though I am very lazy it's because I'm thinking about the practicality of having furniture. So let's drive to Ikea and hope that it's a little bit more successful than Dunnell. Pulled into Ikea and this is the most random useless piece of information. Oh I just accidentally flashed my lights. Um, this is the most random, pointless information that I'm ever gonna tell you. But yay, I remember to pull into the car parking space nose first. I nearly always reverse into spaces, but at Ikea, when you've got furniture, you want your boot facing outwards so you can get stuff in the boot. So I just wanted a pat on the back because yay. Here we go. This is a really cute little setup. I really like it. I don't think I'd ever have a dark sofa, but I love these lights and the colour scheme. It's really, really cute. This is what I was thinking. I might get a pegboard um, to put a few bits and pieces on, but I can't make holes in the wall, so I don't know whether I can have it leaning or not. Mm -hmm. I love these big lights. I just love this gallery wall. I love the little, like, honeycomb hexagon things. This isn't too bad. This isn't too bad as a little bathroom cabinet. It's big, but we need a big one. It's only 35 pounds. This is my little drawing of our storage cupboard and it's 65 until you hit pipes by 74. 64 by 39. <gasps> Hello shelves. We could technically fit two of these in. Right, this is what I want. This is my favorite color wood and it's a high table for stalls, so it's kind of perfect, but it's 130 pounds. And I just don't think we can do that. Oh my goodness, my prayers have been answered. The pegboard can be clipped onto the table. Oh, genius. Absolutely genius. Oh my gosh, I'm getting myself a pegboard. How does this work? This is, does this, this is brilliant. Why are the only cute pink chairs for children? Why are there no adult cute pink chairs? This is the adult version of pink. 
That's nowhere near as cute. Look at that pink. And look at that pink. Disappointment. Could potentially get this chair, but it's up there in white. What do we think? We really need some bedside tables, only these are not what I'm looking for. They're just not as cute as I want them to be. These are very, very cute. This is the wood that I like. Look at my measurements for by the front door, 26 by 49. And this is 26 by 46. So I think we can have this by the front door potentially and use it as a shoe shelf and a small little bit of decoration. This is my all time favorite Ikea bedroom. I just really like the layout. So you've got the bed and wardrobes and then through here, a beautiful bathroom and then through here, a walk-in wardrobe and it's just my ideal maybe not the color scheme but i like the layout this is really cute i found the pegboard station <laughs> and then i think i want one of these and a couple of these little pots to maybe store accessories in and maybe one of these pots i'm thinking to put a little plant in maybe That is not one. I've got half of the stuff I wanted, but I realized I don't know the length of my car and something that I want is 1.9 meters and I don't think my car is that long. So I have a measuring tape, which is one meter and I, <laughs> my car is so little, I don't think I can fit this in. Oh dear. Wish me luck. I don't think this is gonna fit in my car. Okay, it just about fits, but this seat can't go any further forward. So this is as far as this stretches. That's what we've got. Oops, okay, we're going back in. <laughs> so the item that I have in my car at the minute is 150. The item that I wanna get in the car is 190. And then there's something else that's 150 by 75. But I don't know if the angle's gonna work. So I've got my little tape measures. And I just don't know if this is gonna work. So I need an extra 40 centimeters on top of that. Okay, it would fit, but I feel like it would be leaning against my windscreen. Is that illegal? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go and buy it and force it in the car and return it if it doesn't fit. We fit it in. I'm almost annoyed that I went to and fro that shop three times trying to make sure it would fit. I should have just bought it the first time and shoved it in. I came back to the car with the first load and then tried to measure it but couldn't quite measure it. So I went back in there just to double check everything. And then I came back to double measure it with two measuring tapes because the first time I only had one and I wasn't, I wasn't happy with my, this is a meter stop and then a meter from here. I wanted two so that I could 100% get it. And then I still wasn't sure and I went back a third time, just bought it and I was like, do you know what? If it doesn't work, I'll just have to go straight away and refund it. I should have just bought it the first time because it has all fit in the car. It does mean that this is over my shoulder, but we're gonna be okay. I'm gonna drive super slow. I also managed to get some shelves for the storage cupboard, which I am so happy about because I just need to start putting stuff into the storage cupboard, just stacking it up, getting it out of the way. Just all of the rooms are just full of boxes of things that don't need to be unpacked necessarily um, and they're things that can't really go into the garage like books and papers and memorabilia I don't want to put them into the garage and then them get ruined but I also just want them out of the way so oh I got a text message kind of successful last two shops I went into the range and home sense in the range I picked up two little kitchen rugs and then behind me as I'm sure you can see I got a little double bin um, so that you have one side for rubbish one side for recycling I also do want to look into getting a food waste bin because now that we have a house and not a flat we actually have food waste disposal so i'm gonna try and get a little food bin as well so that we can recycle our food properly there is a car pulling right up next to me this car park was empty when i started vlogging and since starting vlogging three cars have arrived so that's not awkward at all i also got this little stool thing which i'm hoping will look good in my filming room in the corner um it was from home sense it was adorable their furniture is the nicest like they they picked the nicest stuff there was a really really cute pink chair that could have been an office chair that I got really really excited about but then I sat down on it and went to move it and it like tipped up and I was kind of thinking 
as cute as that looks i don't want an unsturdy chair in case i fall off so i didn't get that but i did get a few little bits and bobs i am now heading to ms to get um the food shop so i actually ended up doing a um, two can dine for 20 if you don't know what that is if you're not from the UK or you don't shop in M&S and Waitrose I think they both do it then it's basically a starter a main a side a dessert a bottle of Prosecco and then you get a free little chocolate treat as well for 20 pounds so everything is included um, so I went ahead and did that and one of the main reasons that I just went for that was because the options were really good they had Dauphinois potatoes which is my favorite and baked cheesecake which is Nick's favorite and I was kind of like oh go on then i'll do that so yeah dinner is sorted i have put into google maps my location so i can get all the way home i'll catch up with you as and when i can